So there's this useless YouTuber who goes by the name of LOL Cringe, and God forbid if you come across one of his content, one of his YouTube shorts to be more specific. No amount of holy water in your eyes, no amount of prayers, no amount of bleach in your eyes is going to save you from the horror. The only way out of it is drinking that bleach. Roy is so useless that he makes one of those TikTok people who put themselves at the bottom of the screen. They don't say anything, add zero value to the whole video. And the video ends and the only question you ask yourself is what the fuck was bro doing there in the first place? Was, was he part of the video? Was he the content? Bro makes these kind of people look good. Unfortunately for you, I'm not going to be sharing any of his videos on this video because bro's ego is on top of the mountain. Bro is so lifeless, he's sitting watching corn video, eating his Cheetos the second, and notification comes up. Keep in mind, he has 20 million subscribers. A notification comes up of any creator of any size. Criticize them in the smallest way. You criticize him in the smallest way, saying his eyes are not even. He is going to be copy striking the shit out of you because his feelings got hurt. Bro is King Joffrey from Game of Thrones where anyone says anything, bro is going to behead the shit out of them. This YouTuber over here two weeks ago made a video about him saying in the title that this is the worst YouTube shorts channel. And the video having less than a thousand views, but does that matter to Mr. Cringe? Nope! Copyright strike! Now, is that enough for Mr. Cringe? Is he satisfied enough by copy striking small channels because his feelings were hurt? Nope! He will come inside your Discord channel, he will send you emails, he will even chat with you privately and he will tell you to do a challenge and if you don't do his stupid challenge he's not going to be removing his copyright strike this is 100 percent king joffrey from game of thrones but just very extremely more cringe and i don't need to remind you of what a copyright strike is that is a red line which no youtuber should cross because if you cross that line first of all your own community is gonna shit on you in this case he doesn't really have a community because he's a youtube shorts creator with 20 million subs don't get fooled by it that is dead weight i used to be a tiktoker with almost 5 million followers and it's just dead weight short videos majority of creators there is no community your video just gets pushed to people and in his case people just cringe while watching his videos and for some reason some people sub i believe the 20 million people who subbed to this guy were trying to scroll as fast as possible but they accidentally hit the subscribe button they got flabbergasted they got shocked they were so ashamed of themselves going back to his page and pressing the unsubscribe button so they just end up smashing their phones and that's how bro got to keep 20 million subs it can also be the fact that they subbed only to shit on this guy because his dislikes are way more than his likes why did these 20 million people sub because they, they make it their daily routine just to shit on him on daily basis and like i said bro is so lifeless he's going to come into your discord channel and just torture you with cringe joins my server he just starts crying here's the initial ping all right i don't see my challenge prepare for more strength right i didn't even make another video he can't do that that's literally something he cannot do so he's just talking 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 you send your audience after me I literally, it's just a back and forth between him and my entire server. I send this clip here. Right? My apologies. You guys have seen this. But I mean, whatever pays the bills, man. Whatever pay the bills. This guy, he's just trying to actually yeah. can't do this. Also, I just got to throw this out there. Don't send hate to this guy. He's like, what the hell is happening right now? I can't send my audience on anyone. The most I can do is just say in my videos, yo, don't send hate to this guy. He's just trying to get the bag. You struck me and then that made my audience take this stunt now almost 99 percent of these commentary channels they tell you beforehand they start shitting on these people that they don't want you to go and you know hate comment on this person they don't want you to go and hate on this person because if they're cringe or if they did anything stupid they're strongly against it and 100 i am with them so please do not go to lol cringe youtube page and do not harass them or put hate comments don't don't do it I repeat again don't go i do not accept this it is unacceptable please don't go to his page and say mean things now mr cringe had some extra time in his day he was done with the whole discord conversations where everyone was just absolutely shitting on him but he was still replying to everyone because he had nothing better to do at the moment he decided to have a one-on-one -on -one telegram chat with this person who he copy striked hello 
hi you guys really disappoint me but especially you why did you take my video down it was fair use i'll tell you this i can delete any video by myself but i only deleted yours he's just trying to press his buttons if, even if you make a youtube channel right now with literally three subs and you talk shit about him he's going to be copy striking you and 100 if he's watching this video his ass is burning so much because he can't do a single thing about it Suck it. Now, why am I being so harsh towards them? I'm not normally like this for the ones who tune in on a daily basis. Yes, we talk about, we criticize people, but not to this level. It's because of the things that I'm about to show you. It is really going to press your buttons. And you are going to be saying, meter and you, what the fuck happened to my nose? Ugh, bro. I don't know what I'm allergic to, but my nose has been filled for the past six months. I think it's dust or the weather. Anyways, you are going to be saying more meaner things the second you find out of the things he's been saying. He replies, yes, why? You don't even understand why. We 100% understand why because you got that small dick energy and the slightest things hurt your tiny little feelings. No, I don't. Why? Well, you're going to say why? Question mark. He types up, I can ignore insults. It doesn't bother me. But you encourage people to complain about my channel. I don't think he had to do anything. People were already complaining about your channel with the amount of shit ton of dislikes that you were getting in the first place. But okay, Mr. Cringe, you do you. That's why there's a strike on your channel. I'm not a bad person and you all insult me. I'm not proud of it. But with my content, I help collect donations for children who are sick. Doggy style? It looks like bro was multitasking, texting this guy and watching corn at the same time and his brain had a little bit of fart and doggy style came in the middle of sick children. <laughs> I do this at the request of volunteers for no compensations, but what are you and all those who engage in salt doing i like to call this a very big cap because if you're a short creator you know how much short creators make this channel with 16,000 subs thank you for 16 subs by the way for the new people walk up this channel probably generates more money than a short channel with 20 million subs shorts don't pay you shit my old account i had i was very fine i had like 50,000 subscribers i was posting short videos you know how much you make with a million views 10 million views you make less than 100 dollars. so i can guarantee you even with that thousand dollars let's say he makes from youtube he's going to be spending every single cent on himself he is not shedding money from youtube and using his content for the greater good and you might ask yourself kush what about brand deals do you think a person who makes these kind of videos will get brand deals? What is he gonna do? Show the product and make weird faces? And if his content was wholesome, going out, feeding cats, saving straight dogs? Sure, but his content will ruin your day. It makes you want to jump in front of a bus and chuck down a whole bottle of bleach. MK goes on and says, blah, blah, blah. You cannot full strike my channel. This is not okay. And he says, you called for complaints about my channel, bro. That's for sure. I don't speak English. I watched it through a translator. Maybe he misled me, but I doubt it. I don't want to have a long discussion and figure it out. I don't have much free time. Of course you do, Mr. Cringe. I'll remove the strike, but on one condition if you're ready. After, I'll take it off, delete that video, and complete a small challenge. What is your challenge? Just make a video where you drink an iron can of beer in one gulp and say, what is this about my health and prosperity of my channel? The fuck? After that, you will say that I am the real Di Daenerys... Tar this guy is an adult, by the way. Say, I am the real Daenerys Targaryen owner of the Ass's Dragon. After that, you will say the video that all those who filmed videos of insult against me should do the same. Or I will also complain about their videos about me. So basically, he wants this YouTuber to sit in front of the camera and say... Lil Cringe is such a nice guy and I'm the donkey in this situation and he wants all the community to do the same thing. Good luck, Mr. Cringe. Once again, the fact that you cannot do anything about this video of me shit talking you. <laughs> the YouTuber said, yeah, I can't lie. I don't want to do that. Realistically, you should just remove your strike on my channel. That's the only option that genuinely makes sense for you. It's my business to offer. Your business is to refuse. There are no other options. Or you do what I say and I'll remove the strike or there will be no more dialogue with you. Did he end up removing the strike? Nope. He started striking even more people. This person with 250 subs talked about him in the slightest way. 
and for someone like lol cringe with 20 million subs with someone with 200 subs talks shit about you what do you do you copy strike them because that is the only thing to do when you're someone like mr cringe he also went up and strike this channel peeps is awesome he has around 125,000 subs peeps also talked about him and he got four strikes on his channel but fortunately youtube was kind enough to remove those false copyright strikes peeps over here sent the message to youtube youtube responded say they will look into it and they will respond to him in a day or two and this is the conversation happened with mr cringe and peeps where cringe said will you do my challenge probably some donkey challenge you start doing clown work for king joffrey over here make a fool out of yourself so he'll be satisf satisfied so he'll decide either he wants to behead you or not then i will forgive you for your bullying and will not take any actions this is a grown-ass man talking like this what do you mean not take any actions realize false striking channels is illegal this is indeed true if you false copyright claim or copyright strike you are going to there is going to be consequences either you will face legal actions or you will face account termination or suspension but from the looks of it either mr cringe is an absolute donkey or he just doesn't understand how youtube copyright system works my feelings are my right you hurt my feelings you will pay the price with the consequences i have all the power on youtube and i will use it against you if you hurt my feelings i think that's the way he thinks and youtube should 100 percent take action against this absolute donkey creature you are risking terminating channels like mine just to play god well said the fact that you aren't taking this seriously and massive channels like you get away with it are insane now peeps have made another video saying his account is almost getting terminated because he has so many strikes on it because of this creature he replied to his uh video saying buddy this is not about copyright infringement but about insults to me yeah this guy definitely doesn't understand how youtube works for this i can strike you no you can't i ask you to complete my task today otherwise i will have to act by the way this is the guy who helps the poor helps children helps raise funds with his content for these kids 100 percent. whatever he's going to donate to these kids he's going to tell them to take your phone out do a tiktok dance for me dance like a donkey and say east west lol cringe is the best i'm not even sick i don't know why my nose is having a water park session but anyways back to this guy this guy really truly pressed some buttons in me i i'm not usually like this like i said and on the real note no need to go waste your time and harass this person give them hate comments he already gets enough of it it will also you know save you a lot of torture by watching his videos but it's crazy to me how someone with 20 million subs doesn't even know how youtube works and the fact that they're saying they have the audacity to say dance for me or i will not remove my strike and you won't be monetized for a good 90 days if you do it again, I will strike you again and you will have your channel terminated. This is what we call around here. I have a lot of free time and I have a small dick energy type of energy. The fact that he's also saying it, committing to the illegal shit that he's doing by saying that, you know, uh, my feelings are hurt and it is my right to copyright, falsely copyright strike you. I hope truly YouTube sees this and decides to do something about it. Even give him a warning or educate him maybe a little bit. Or if Mr. Uh, Mr. Cringe, if you're watching this video, you cannot falsely strike someone because your feelings were hurt, okay? Learn to grow a pair and take it like a man. If you post these type of cringy shit, what do you expect? You expect people to st start throwing flowers on their brows at you because you're such a good content creator? You, you, what do you expect? You decide to have like diehard fans because you sit in front of the camera for seven seconds and you say nothing but make weird faces? But anyways, I just thought this donkey was worth talking about. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you enjoyed these yapping sessions, make sure to drop a sub. Welcome to the community. Again, thank you for 16k. Yeah, take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.